What is going on everybody? So today we are taking a look at the Tempest and because I have it hooked up and I really don't want to unhook it, here's a picture of it. Like, eh, it looks better over here. We'll put it over here. I am holding the biggest Tempest in the fucking world. Woo! Look at that. Hey, we'll slip a finger in the back of it. Alright. So yeah, that's the Tempest. So essentially, uh, I guess the synopsis of this is um, it's a Effie Dragon clone. Um, again, I know I've had these whole things where I talk about clones and my problem with people calling things clones. So the Fifi Dragon is no longer a thing. Done, gone. So there's people out there that truly love that pedal and when it died, they're left wanting so much from stuff that they were not getting. So, Fortin, being the smart little dickhead that he is, decided, fuck it. I can build one of those. And guess what? If this is a clone, um, he nailed it, I guess. I've only used a, a Fifi Dragon once. And my, I was supposed to have one sent to me, but uh, this thing with people that live in Virginia... They tell you they're sending stuff in the fucking mail, and it never shows up. And if it does, it's a year and a half later. Fuck people in Virginia. Like, straight fuck them. Bag deep until your fucking dickhead comes out their fucking nostrils. Fuck them hard in the butt until they can taste their own mom. All right, yes. Anyway, uh, the Tempest is just a super cool uh, pedal that I'm using a 7-string. I am in standard 7-string tuning. This is a Gorilla um, Tactical. It's called M7 Tactical. It's a TDS edition, which basically it's just like combined a couple things were on different guitars in one, and I guess I'm supposed to call it a TDS edition because, you know, my whiny ass wanted something specific done, so <laughs> why not, right? Um, yeah, solo guitars, man. Check out Gorilla Guitars. I know everybody says, ah, the fucking headstock. Don't look at the headstock. Play the damn guitar, all right? They're awesome sounding guitars. They play great. They're built by hand. Well, the, the bodies are cut with a CNC machine, but they get fingerprinted hard, man. A lot of a lot of handwork is done on these things. And you can start, get them. I mean, they start at like 800 bucks. Uh, you have a hard time getting shit from Indonesia for that. But anyway, we're not here to talk about Gorilla Guitars. We're here to talk about the Fort and Tempest. So again, um, the Tempest right here. The biggest Tempest in the world. It's big as my fat fucking torso, isn't it? All right. So, yeah. Anyhow, right now, uh, for the sound that I have, I have the level at 50%, drive at 50%, and I have no idea what the other two knobs do. But I'm going to say due to the it's doing, the one on the left 
is your low frequency. The one on the right is your high frequency. Maybe. I don't fucking know. Because I'm stupid. And typical Fortin fashion, you get a black bag. It doesn't tell you nothing about the fucking pedal. You're on your own. So yeah, anyhow. We're going to turn off the Tempest and turn it on to show you what it does. And I will turn some knobs and then we'll come back, talk about it for a second and get the fuck out of here. All right? Here we go. Hold on to your knickers. We're about ready to party. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put everything on noontime. Alright, so this is what it sounds like without it. And I'm going to, you know, room audio. You don't like it, get a spork. Down on the all you can eat buffet of my asshole. <laughs> That's with everything at noontime. So I'm going to turn off the vocal mic because I just put you through something you probably didn't want to go through. And you're probably thinking, oh, wow, snacking on this asshole with a spark is such a good snack. It's, it's fruity and delicious. And maybe it's because, you know, got crazy and ordered a thing of Tasty Hole from LeatherDaddy.com. Yeah, we all know we're getting that shit in our feet and none of us know why. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is Leather Daddy's way of going. You know what, straight people? Let's 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 really take you take a run at you. <laughs> Meanwhile, the gay people that truly do go down and bark at the moon and fucking chew on someone's nasty asshole—they're not seeing the ad at all. But anyway, I digress. Let's get back to the tempest. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm gonna I'm turn off the vocal mic, and we're gonna turn the drive all the way down and work our way back up. Here we go. It's got enough of gain on tap. It's got a stupid fucking amount of gain on tap. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to play with whatever the fuck the knob is that's on the left. It literally is not marked. It says fuck all nothing. All right. So here we go. Thank you. 
All right. Now for the knob on the right. It's almost like playing with titties. If you only have one arm, like you got a nub. You just one by one, token, you know, tune in Tokyo. It's like a little bit of mix of this and that. You know what I'm saying. Y'all seen the movie. All right, here we go. The one on the right. The, another nameless motherfucking knob. <laughs> So as you can see, that thing is just ridiculous. All right, so you get a pretty good sound. If you just put stuff to the drive in the middle, level in the middle, both nipples at about one o'clock. That's what I'm calling them. nipples, fuck it. And I know people are like, seven string and no drop A. Fuck it. We'll do. <laughs> Thank you. 
so there you go. Yeah. That's a motherfucking tempest, son. So, again, is it a dragon clone? Who gives a shit? It's a good sound of motherfucking pedal. Ta-da! So, yeah, I would say just in my short little experience, I have not used this pedal very much. I don't know how much I would use it for, like, standard tune and six-string stuff, but for low tune shit, this is a very musical and useful pedal. It's very chimey. It's very unforgiving. I mean, you're going to either play tight or you're going to sound sloppy as shit. Welcome to the Sloppy as Shit Club, by the way. You know I'm there. I'm not just a member. I'm not just an owner. I'm a motherfucking proprietor of sloppiness. Sloppy Joe, sloppy, sloppy Joe. Get a spork and eat my asshole. All right, so, yeah. Anyhow, here comes the part that everybody hates. You don't want to hear this shit? We're done. Video's over. But, if you're one of these fucks that want me to do Patreon, fuck you. There's a thank you button down there. Smash it. Leave a dollar. Leave a thousand. Leave a couple million. I don't give a shit. The money that goes in there goes directly into a savings account. And I buy pedals with it. And the pedals that I buy with it will be given away on this channel. All right? I gain nothing. It supports the channel, which gives you shit. Free shit. How can you hate free shit? Unless it's in a brown paper bag and lit on your doorstep. That free shit, no good. That's some bad shit. But still some shit. And it is free shit. But there is free shit that's bad shit. And, you know, that's just not good shit. So, the money that's left doesn't benefit me any. I have a good job. I have a fucking smoking ass good job. If I want something, I just go get it. Because I'm an asshole. You know, fuck it. Let's go buy it. Because I'm a dick that works his ass off, right? That's right. I'm old enough that chasing pussy doesn't matter. Get one, wrangle her down, and, uh, you know, every once in a while, give her a Milky Way. You know what I'm saying? All right, so, <laughs> other than that, <laughs> smash the like button, you piece of shit. Keep music evil. Bring metal to the children. Don't be a dick. Subscribe to my shit. Later.